Uh, hi everybody, I'm Takasaju, and did, uh, what was Fog of War? Fucking this thing, it's a video game. Uh, so I'm spectating this thing, I had a weird bug a second ago where, like, my UI was, like, slightly below the screen, but I fixed it, uh, so now we're, we're watching this video game. And this map is called Arnhem Checkpoint, did you know that? I don't think I knew that, I didn't know the name of this map, and it's got a, look, it's got a vineyard. They're growing some vins. I got a... I love the fucking Vins. I can't get enough of the Vins. And so it's a match between Disillusions um, and Hoi uh, And these are this is the highest ranked uh, match currently available for Spectation in Auto Match. Spectation being a word that means uh, spectate, but it's uh, much more impressive. Uh, Vecatraz has gone. Well, we'll talk. Well, okay, these guys are going to lose the fight. I'll just uh, I'll just call this one. Uh, Vectraz has gone, uh, Luftwaffe Ground Forces, Special Operations, Special Tactics. No, that's not, that's not, Solid, have you ever seen that video on the internet, or maybe you've played the video game, where Solid Snake, someone asks him why he has, in, no, he just, I'm, don't even, just look up Infinite Ammo Solid Snake, but that has nothing to do with the Special Tactics, I don't think. Uh, so I said these guys, the rear echelon, were gonna lose, uh, in my head, I qualified that with unless the riflemen show up, and hopefully you qualified that in your head too with unless the riflemen showed up. If you didn't, uh, then you're bad at Company Heroes 2 and you should feel bad. Because that's the way, that's the only way to keep those rear echelon alive is to park them in a building long enough for the riflemen to show up and save the day. That's exactly what happened. I love hearing that little ping sound from the Grand. Uh, killing a couple Storm Pioneers this early in the match, a pretty good coup for the United States player that forces them way back. They got to reinforce twice, which isn't very easy. They're actually at really low health, too, so th that was really, uh, I wasn't even expecting the recommend to do that good. I guess the tiny bit of damage that the rear echelon put on that before then uh, worked out. We have an interesting capping uh, from uh, the United States player not linking up the fuel yet, instead going straight for the uh, VP, and so we'll get a double cap VP against the German who has neglected the VP in order to link up uh, his own fuel and also to cap a bit less because he's been pushed off a bit more and also camping out in this uh, building a while and getting nothing done with these folks here, whereas the riflemen in the middle were able to capture this point before retreating uh, to that building. So um, yeah, I think fixing f either fixing my UI bug lowered my FPS a bit or this map is just killing the FPS. Because after I turned off V-Sync my FPS went up and now it's down to about 40, uh, although I'm recording at 30 FPS. If you ever want to record video games, I cannot recommend the program DxTory enough. Way better than Fraps. I actually haven't used Fraps in years, but DX Tory totally worth the price. You can record at a lower frames per second than you play. It makes it so much nicer, especially if you actually have to play the video game while you're recording. Jesus. Uh, so we have a cool fight here. Uh, Fox Raiders ganging up on the riflemen in the building. Riflemen uh, hopping in all the buildings. Fox Raiders hopping in buildings. These riflemen hopping out of the building. Uh, you could, I guess you could call this urban warfare. Meanwhile, on the left, uh, rear echelon troops fucked up by the Storm Pioneers. Ah, man, grudge match, round two. Uh, and to nobody's surprise, we have United States Mortar out. Very, very lucky that the mortar, first mortar shell landed on the wall and not slightly to the left. Slightly to the left would potentially have wiped that folks greater squad, and that would have been, like, GG, basically. Notice the rear echelon squad made it out. Um, these guys, again, pretty low in the house. I'd be trying to get these riflemen out of the house. Uh, I guess the plan is the house will keep them safe. Oh, this could be bad. If they hop out of the house and try and retreat through the Sturm Gradiers, who are also maybe got killed in the mortar, but interestingly, oh man, that's a good play. Hop out that side of the house and then retreat, and they retreat down this way. It turns out they're still going to maybe get cut off by the Sturm Pioneers, so this could get ugly still. Um, we got some covering fire from the riflemen. I don't know, it's touch and go. Oh, and the Sturm Pioneers repositioned over to the left, so giving the riflemen a... Uh, Clean bill of health, Kubelwagen. This is a nice, it's it's a nice place and not a nice place for the Kubelwagen. It's a nice place because when your opponent's in the building, it's going to be very hard for them to chase your Kubelwagen, especially um, because, well, there's a door over here, but uh, they'll have to go either around the thing or hop the fence. Either way, it's not very fast. Uh, to chase, oh, wow, we will turn him first. We'll talk about that soon. But uh, to chase your Kubelwagen, they'll at least have to get out of the building and then start running towards you, so probably you'll be able to get out of there in time. Uh, so the Kubelwagen is very safe, and it, you can go ahead and take some damage on it. 
it, which is exactly what the German player did. But it's also not so great because the Kubelwagen is not super effective against people uh, in buildings. I guess unless he drives straight up and fire in point blank, in which case it'll wreck everybody. Like all automatic weapons will wreck people if you get them right up next to the machine gun. But then at that point, the Kubelwagen will probably get self wrecked too if there's any uh, windows on the sides so they can fire out. So, um,. So, you know, it's kind of a wash uh, having a Koopa bag and fire. You're taking nothing because you can eventually repair the damage as long as you get out, whereas the opponent is taking some damage. But probably I think you want to maybe often look for a more effective usage of your Koopa wagon if you can find it. And since there's just so many right from her infantry swarming around in this area, it would have been nice to see the, Ameri or the German try and do something a bit more impressive with the wagon de Kubel. The Kubel. Sounds like Kugel. You ever had Kugel? Kugel is some good shit, my friends. It's like a Jewish casserole thing. Um, the best, well, there are many, a lot of people like apple kugel the best. Apple kugel is like the classic kugel. But the best kugel, hands down, is an onion kugel. It's spelled K-U-G-E-L, by the way, in case you're thinking like K-O-O-G-L-E, like fucking Google. No, it's not like Google. Kugel's not like Google. Kugel came before Google, but you can Google for onion kugel. You will not be unhappy unless you don't like Eastern European Jewish food, which, let's face it, nobody likes that shit. But, um, still, Kugel. Hook yourself up. What was I talking about before that? Uh, I think I finished my thought on the Kubelwagen, which means we can start talking about the lieutenant tech first. So, uh, <laughs> somehow they lost four people. Uh, I think I broke my game. Nope, the game's working again. Um, I don't know what happened to the lieutenant. Uh, again, that mortar he seems to hit the, uh... Wait, do we have two mortars? Yeah, we do. It's the meta, guys. This is the meta you asked for. Did anybody actually ask for a U.S. mortar? Like, I'm legitimately curious. I come back to the game, there's this fucking U.S. mortar fucking everything up, and I'm like, what the hell happened? Is Relic asleep at the wheel? The answer is, they don't even have the wheel. They fucking lost the wheel when THQ went bankrupt, and they, the game has just been completely off the rails since then. And it was also off the rails before then, because the wheel was just a donut that they would pass around and take bites from. It's a very big donut. It lasted a while, but you can only do so much. So the Kubo Vacan's dead. Um, also, I feel like a squad died at some point. You should really pay attention to this video game. Zero kills, one kill. Wow. Oh, no, three kills. Okay, I misread that number. It's a tiny little number. It's a tiny little number in my defense. They should make the number bigger. How do they expect geriatric individuals to succeed at spectating this video game if the number is so tiny. I'm just kidding. Everything should be like 50% of the size. The HUD the HUD should legitimately be like this when you're playing. When you're watching, the HUD can be bigger because who gives a fuck, but it should be smaller when you're playing. That's my... that's my... that's Tygo's... Tygo's rant of the morning. Uh, so anyways, we went Lieutenant first. We, weird as hell. Um, everybody fucking rushes Stewart, so... Uh, we have a lieutenant, and then uh, we have an AA half track. Haven't seen one of these in a while, except I built one the other day. I was playing a two v two because uh, it's a it's a it's a nice way to ease yourself back. Real 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 men, real men and women play one v ones because that's where the fucking you're you're just a joke if you don't play one v one. I'm sorry, but uh, the reason it's cool to play a two v two, and the reason so many people play two v twos and three v threes and four v fours and five v fives and six v six and seven v seven, is because you know it takes the pressure off. It's like you know maybe my ally will do some stuff, and if I get shot at, I'll just retreat, but my ally will be fighting, and uh, if we lose, I can just blame them. <laughs> and, uh, that's how it works. So it's a very it's a very nice way to ease yourself back into the game. But um, come on, you, you know you should you should. You should play one v one because that's that, that's the real the test of the skill. This Rakent Riffer is gonna fire soon. I'm just waiting for this shit. So this is the ticket back into the game for the German player. United States player, luckily busy microwing over here, and it's out of control. So that, like I said, ticket man, that was a fun out of control. And I like how they started yelling right before they exploded. Um, I feel like since Relic, oh no, that could have been the ticket right back out of the game. I feel like since Relic knows when it's going to explode, they can make it so the voice line doesn't get cut off, but maybe it got cut off for dramatic effect. So, German player really getting their shit pushed in, uh, but killing that half-track is a blessing. Uh, the half-track costs um, 50 fuel, which is not uh, not a joke. I don't know when we went fortification or ground forces doctrine, but good fucking luck. 
nothing i feel like nothing in here is any good except for the stuka recon and the foshi makers and even the foshi makers are too expensive i don't know that's just my opinion guys hashtag hashtag i don't know what hashtag to follow that up with hashtag just hashtag my hashtag opinion just my opinion. Wow, these things aren't even set up. That's some really uh, flexible warfare doctrine. That's very be like the be like the water. Just kidding. They're set up. Oh uh, man, they're just gonna shell their own. Nope. Then they immediately unset up. Good, good. Like to see that. So American player a very dominating lead in the game, except lost the half track. So we'll have to see uh, if the German player can claw their way back, uh, play their play the bum hand they've been dealt from the asshole of life. Um, Put on some gloves, touch that bum hand, touch it from the bum. My metaphors are getting really fucked up, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep going. I might have to... I don't know. I don't have any alcohol next to me. I've got some water. It's hot here, so I have a water bottle with some ice. Can you hear the, can you hear the ice jumbling around? It's a metal water bottle with it. Just had a big chunk of ice, I keep it in the freezer, and then I fill it with water, and now uh, let me drink. Ah, some good. It's actually not good. Every every ice I freeze always tastes like shit, no matter what freezer I do it in. I've heard it's because it picks up odor from other stuff in the freezer, but what the fuck has odor in my freezer? Nothing. Nothing, I think. I think it's just an odorless freezer. So I don't know why my ice tastes like shit. So that's actually not true. Uh, my freezer probably has all sorts of odors, because I keep a bunch of... Uh, I keep the stems and the discarded pieces from fruits and vegetables in the freezer so that number one they don't attract fruit flies when I leave them out in the trash and number two so I can eventually feed them to my compost worms. Um, oh no, the mortar's dead. Luckily there's a mortar. Um, but before I did that my ice still tasted like shit and honestly this ice actually tastes- oh they got the mortar I didn't think about that because I have the attention span of a squirrel. More water but um so now you're maybe back. Is this drive from telling a story? It's over. It's over. I'm sorry. I talked over you, rifleman. I'm so sorry. Maybe you were even a lieutenant. I don't know. Um. I don't think I wanted to talk more about my freezer. So I must have wanted to talk more about that mortar that was captured uh, by the German player. The United States player clearly has a sort of uh, some sort of mortar fetish or has some sort of. Yeah, <laughs> knock their fucking block off. Has some sort of fetish for double mortars, two mortars, one cup sort of thing. Because uh, he immediately rebuilds uh, the lost mortar, and so we have a brand new mortar team out. We'll have to see how that plays out. Um, the German player, I feel like, can still win this. The uh, the VPs look bad, but uh, but uh, but uh, the Aryans, the Aryans look good. They got good bone structure, guys. They got blonde hair. Blue eyes, they don't take no guff from people who eat no kugel. So, so you know, never put it past the Germans to pull it out in the 11th hour and do some sort of German dance. And... Oh, those wacky Germans. I'm on the uh, Thomas Pynchon mailing list, which is just a mailing list for people who like Thomas Pynchon, I guess. Um, there's not a lot of Thomas Pynchon discussion on the mailing list. It's mostly old people who have been on the list since the list was made in like the 90s and those before Facebook, and so basically they just use it as their Facebook and they just post interesting articles and stuff. Uh, but somebody posted the other day uh, a transcript of what a bunch of German scientists were talking about. They were captured by the Allies and they're up in some uh, chateau or whatever with a bunch of... Uh, microphone secretly recording their conversations, which strikes me as a little unethical, but they're Nazis, so whatever. And a bunch of German scientists who are working on the German nuclear program are reacting to the news that, oh god, two mortars versus one mortar, turns out two mortars win. Reacting to the news that uh, Hiroshima had just been bombed uh, atomically, in the atomical way, by the United States. And that's some cool stuff, so Google that. Um, I'm not even sure if it'll show up on Google. Join the Pigeon mailing list. Hey, you, can, you don't even have to join. You can look in the archives of the Pigeon mailing list. It's set a few days ago, probably like a week or two by the time I post this. Uh, so check that out. <laughs> I love how they rush along. Effectively just do push-ups. They like get down and then like, nope, we changed our mind. We're getting back up. The artillery has stopped. Uh, when in reality, it has not stopped. Look at that stubby little gun. I'll never not have the cockles of my heart warmed by that stubby little micro penis of a artillery thing. 
Oh, they just got liquefied. By they, I mean the one guy. That other guy at least has a body to send back. But uh, it's not going to happen because Jesus is going to show up and take up to heaven and turn them into wafers for people to eat. Because if you think all those wafers are Jesus, that's a fucking joke. Way too many wafers for them all to be Jesus. It's got to be other dead people. Jesus is clearly co-opting them for the sacrament. That's my own opinion. I don't think that's the uh, stated opinion of the Catholic Church. But uh, they've, they've still got time to come around to the light, to come around to the correct way of seeing things. Because, uh, let's face it, either Jesus is a lardass, or those, can't, those wafers can't all be Jesus. There's just too many. It's really weird how these mortars go everywhere in tandem so close like this. It's just fucking asking for a shell. Um, I, I, I don't know, United States player just blessed so far. Hashtag blessed that this mortar has not eaten a shell and wiped out both of them simultaneously. Oh, and now we're shelling tier 4. Shit's getting real, guys. This is a, I love the bold tier 4 placement. So many people are just wimps with their tier 4. They're like, I don't want my tier 4 to get killed and then we'll lose the game. I'm gonna build it somewhere where it's not gonna get owned by my opponent when they claw their way into the map control. And it's like, fuck you. Build your tier 4 like you fucking mean it. I do that all the time, man. It probably loses me games. But you know what? It's a lot more fun to just fucking set up shop with your big-ass gun and your radio that's, frankly, the size of a human being. I don't know what that thing's doing. Uh, but it's just so much more fun to get that thing where the gun's gonna get a real workout. Uh, not just when you get uh, rushed. So... I don't think I ever even looked the United States players fucking things because I would have remarked on this and I didn't. So look, we've got this and this is a Pershing. So uh, United States player, not uh, not part of the Stuart meta, definitely a part of the Mortar meta. I think we can safely say he's fucking enamored of the Mortar meta and definitely a part of the Pershing meta. So we're definitely going to see a Pershing coming out. We've got the fuel already. It's just a matter of uh, these rangers having taken up all the uh, manpower. It's just a matter of the manpower ticking up again and then I think things are going to look pretty dire for the Germans. So they've been, the Germans put up a really good fight. Um, this has been a tough a tough match ever since losing that infantry and that Kubelwagen uh, early on. I like the Germans fight and the Germans have been doing pretty well but uh, it's just, you know, when your opponent has more map control, D oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow, these things, these things are buddies too. See, how does this fucking happen to the Germans the first time the artillery teams up, but the Allies' artillery has been teamed up since, like, fucking day one, and the only time anything bad ever happened to the mortars was when they split up and one of them got owned and captured. So there's no justice in this world. Certainly, uh, if you ask those German nuclear scientists if there were justice in the world, they'd say no. The fatherland should have triumphed. Some of them weren't saying that to their credit. Some of them were like, I'm glad we lost. But some of them were like, oh man, Hitler was a jerk, but we totally should have won. Uh, so this looks bad. Ooh! Here comes, here comes the fucking Falschermager thing. Who are they going to strafe? Who are they? Oh no, it's not that. It's a Stuka recon. I was excited. This thing is a lot of pomp and circumstance. But it's way too many munitions for the Germans to call in, so it's not happening. But yeah, man, I miss a good airborne assault. I want to see that thing. Oh no, they're all clopped up. So nuts. Nine kills. Six kills. How's the German mortar doing? Four kills. So I guess this only gets up to vet three. It'd be cool if it got up to vet 5. I feel like... I must... That, that can't have been the case. Maybe, maybe what happens is when we capture the German things, they can go up to vet 5. That's what I'm thinking of. Because, uh... They, so these guys don't have their, uh... Grenade... I don't know. They didn't throw it, whatever it was. We'll wait till they retreat and check that out. How many kills on the Fauschermakers? Two kills on the Fauschermakers, and they have vet 1 already. So I think that's from taking a lot of fire. We'll see what points. is from uh, German players still fighting. It's really trying to trying to get it going. We got another Ranger squad in, by the way. Um, they're just being used to cap. But so if at first you don't succeed with Rangers, try try again with Rangers is the lesson. And it's the triple it's the triple artillery, including the field infantry gun, stolen and then immediately turned on its former masters. 
Why did you make me like this? It says as it fires from its tiny stubby little gun. I will get my revenge. And get its revenge it does. Killing two folks grenadiers with one shell. What economy of style. What pure... Hey look, there's some pants. Everything's white. Except for the socks are black. Black socks. Does it mean something? Is it some sort of code? That was a cool flame grenade, but to no avail. What's, what's that? That was a nice... These guys can throw it fucking far. Cooked M2 frag grenade, so it blows up fast. Yeah, I remember that. They can throw it pretty far. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, so that was, that was a fun match. Now we have a Panzer IV out, but too little too late. And by out, I mean it's almost out. Uh, but you have 8 VPs. Here comes the Stuka thing, just to scout what's gonna the opponent has when you lose. Now you have two VPs, your triple cap, GG. Uh, so that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I don't know why the American flag is just blood red, like the fucking Soviet flag, but uh, you know, maybe they get them. Maybe that's the, the what they get from Lendlease coming back. Look how ugly this texture is. When you turn it down to low, it looks like a fucking 1960s like psychedelic pattern. This is like fucking No One Lives Forever. So I said it was ugly. I actually kind of like it. You ever played No One Lives Forever? That's a good video game. Okay, now that every oh no, this replay is only 20 minutes, so maybe you're still watching. What can I? What else can I say? I hope there's a sequel to No One Lives Forever. They can call it No One Lives Forever Again. Three, because they made number two. That was really good, too. I actually don't know which one's better. I think most people like number two better. But number one had some really good stuff. Bye now.